Welcome back to the show. Time now for 814 Eats. Joined with us now is Miss Chef Janet Hello. from Sip and Saute. Welcome back in. Thank you. Thank you. Today you are making a comfort meal, some warm, hearty soup on a cold day. On a cold day in Pennsylvania, I think that you need some soup, Morgan. We do. Okay. So today we're just making a really simple recipe. Uh, it is so non-chef worthy. Okay. <laughs> but it is simple and that's what my people like. Yes. They say, Chef Janet, we want to go to simple recipe. Okay. So this is one, two, three. You can do it. All you've got to do is start with some red new potatoes oh. right here. You're just going to rinse those off. Leave your skins on so it holds your potato together. Okay. Then you're just going to dice these up. You're going to put those in. Uh, I'm going to use six to eight potatoes. Then I'm going to use eight cups of water and I'm going to use four of these chicken bouillon cubes. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to make some broth water, put my potatoes in there, let my potatoes boil for about 20 minutes until they fork tender. And then I'm going to add easy two small cans of wow. evaporated milk. Two cans of cream of cheddar cheese soup or cheese soup. Mm -hmm. That's it. No more milk. No more wow. water. That's it. You're just going to make sure that you heat and eat. I like my potatoes. You can chop them really fine, mm -hmm. a small dice, um, whatever. I just like mine kind of chunky and funky, right. kind of like me. I love so, that. That's where I'm going with that. Nail my bread bowl. <gasps> Wow. Really neat. Just got this at Martin's right in the bakery. They sell them already yeah. made during the holiday season. But during this time of year, you have to make your own. You hollow so it out? Yep. So yeah. you just buy the bread. It's not sourdough. This is regular. I took it home. I put an egg wash on it to oh, make it shine. This. And some parsley. Put it in the oven on 400 for about 10 minutes to let it get crispy. Mm -hmm. We want it crispy. That looks so sturdy. yummy. So then we can put our soup actually in our bread bowl, Morgan, Wow! for presentation. I thought we needed to do something that sounded kind of <laughs> fancy on TV. Everybody loves the bread bowl. I know. Rebecca likes that word fancy. I know <laughs> that. She likes everything to be fancy. And you put some nice garnish on there, too. And we've Just got some, some celery toppings. leaves yeah. and some of the green wow. onion stems that I had. And now you've got to add your toppings, a little bit of scallion or green onions, some more. Of course, we need some cheddar cheese. I know Joe, Joe Burgo is going to be up for soup oh, today. Oh, yeah. Then a little bit of crumbled fresh bacon oh. right there. You could even put a nice little blob of sour cream. That and so look, <gasps> you, top you it can off. put this back on. Or I like it with just a little bit like a little top pad uh -huh. where he's looking kind of sassy there. <laughs> what do you think? I think it's adorable. Now, you just break some pieces off and dip it right in? Yep, right here. That's the inside okay. of my breast bowl. Oh, that that's I, a good idea. Bowl, and I just took everything out. I just right. took my inside pieces. You don't want to take too much so that you've got a substantial bowl. Mm. There. Now look what else you could do. You could put any type of a dip, any type of soup. It could be French onion. It could be a broccoli cheese. It could be a vegetable. It could be an Italian soup. Yeah. You could put a breakfast item in the bread bowl. You know, but this way. is, of course, mm -hmm. adding calories. Well. Of course. But. I do like this recipe. It's so easy. It's very inexpensive for the way food costs are right now. All right. And you can just simply just put this together. Morgan, do you know how to tell if a potato's in a mood? I don't think so. How would you know? If it's kind of acting salty. <laughs> I think that makes sense. <laughs> wow, this is su super easy. Uh, very, few, very few ingredients. I'm going to try um, a potato here. But before we go, 
tell everyone where we can find you. You actually go to people's houses and you cook for them. I do. I come in and I'm cook. I'm your personal mm. chef and shopper and serve. And then I ghost after I clean up your lovely kitchen. There you go. And I take your money. <laughs> and I'm at home at 814-515-1191. Just give me a call and we'll get some cooking action going on. Hey, that's a pretty good deal, uh, Chef Janet. We did want to mention, speaking of fancy, you look nice and fancy. Oh, I love well, this outfit. Thank you, thank you. It came from a lovely boutique down the street here. It's called... Humble and Kind? Humble and yeah. Kind. The lady's wonderful. I've bought several things in there, and mm -hmm. she just makes me feel glamorous. Yeah, you are styling and profiling. <laughs> Thank you so much, Chef Janet. We're going to get a check with our weather here. Uh, Caitlin, some warm soup on a very cold day. Yes, a great day for the soup with temperatures as cold as they were this morning. Looks good and smells good in here as well. <laughs> temperatures currently in Altoona. We have rebounded pretty nicely. 27 degrees is where we currently sit, and that's the help of that southwest winds. It's a big difference when you see a north wind versus that southwest wind, and we're still looking at six mile per hour winds here in the Altoona area. Temperatures across the region, we're sitting pretty good, right about uh, five to six degrees below average. So 27 in Altoona, 30 in Somerset, 30 in Indiana, 30 in Punxsutawney, and 27 in St. Mary's. Now the cold front is working its way from the northwest down towards our central Pennsylvania region, so winds haven't shifted just yet. We're still ahead of that front. We're still seeing that warmer air kind of come in from our south at about 5 to 10 miles per hour, and that southwesterly wind is going to eventually shift once that cold front gets a little bit further across our region. So that will be bringing with some scattered snow showers. We're not talking about a lot of snow showers, but the lower highlands do have the best shot at seeing a good one to three by the time we're all said and done. This starts tonight and then we'll wrap up Friday night. So it's a longer period from the snow shower activity. This will continue throughout much of the region. You can kind of see here on the